This summer, make all your meals easy breezy. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and recipes delivered right to your door every week. Get 16 free meals plus three gifts with code unfiltered16 at hellofresh.com slash unfiltered16. Thank you, HelloFresh. All right. All right, here we go. Um, did you want a water? Make us laugh. Uh, I'm good. Good? I, was, I was saying that I can't have a water because if I have a water, I'm going to drink it the whole time. I oh, okay. I have like a bad habit when I'm, when I'm on podcast. I just, if I have a drinker, I'm just going to keep drinking it. Yeah, I need mm -hmm. to be playing with something. So, well, do you want us to put something in else in there so you're not drinking a lot, like alcohol, tequila? I never actually thought of that. It's actually a pretty good point. Because you're not going to keep put, drinking that. Yeah, yeah. Pour, pour up some alcohol in here. Straight tequila and you'll yeah. barely sip it. I, I've been an old fashioned guy lately. Ooh, Ooh, you don't yeah, strike yeah, me as an old yeah, fashioned yeah, guy. Yeah, you're growing yes. up. Yeah. yeah. That's what good. does it look like he drinks? Apple martinis. Really? Oh, that's a good one. How like dare in, you? But in the manly case. What? Uh, I like apple mug. martinis. I do no, like, like them. No, like they're, they're classy mug. and you're like clean cut. It's very. Yeah, yeah. Arabs usually don't drink, so it's really hard to tell. Yeah, no, just hookah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I just drink hookah. Yeah. I only say the apple martini because I think that's like a first timer's like go to drink when they yeah, don't know what really to drinks. order. I mean, an. I'm not gonna knock apple martinis. They're, they taste really good. I just whiskey don't like sour. drinking it in the, in the yeah whiskey sour. I don't like drinking it in that glass though. Wait, these are uh, first drinks. I have never heard of these. No, not as a, a first, first drink, drink, but like a like a whiskey sour is a nice kind of like sipper. I think my first drink was like just. Vodka. Yeah, like vodka. yeah. I, I feel like vodka crayon or Jack and Coke. I feel like those are like the normal yeah. shit that you'd get at a bar if you're or whatever you find in your parents. Yeah. I, can't, I can't have screwdrivers anymore. I, like I threw up off. Of What's a screwdriver again? It's orange juice and vodka. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that. No, that's that, nice. that's that's something you drink when you have a problem, though. Yeah. I feel like that's yeah. that's not you don't go out and like get a screwdriver with friends. That's some like you're drinking alone. You, you don't even get that. If people are drinking mimosa, it's not it's, nor, it's not normal. Mimosa is fun. Screwdriver is something you're like you're hiding your liquor somewhere yeah. like in the back of the cabinet uh, exactly. away from your family. Right, and you it, would love that orange juice and vodka. I do love that. There I know you. what it is. If you order, I don't that live under a bar, rock. Like you're going through something at home. They give you they <laughs> give, <laughs> screwdriver. They they hand it to you like this. I can attest to that. They, they kinda, go, it's on us. <laughs> don't worry. That's, okay. got, that's gotta be some good orange juice though. Like sometimes those bars, Imagine like it's pulp. just, oh. It's yeah. just a terrible mix. It doesn't, I don't even know who came up with orange juice. And it's like if you, they ran out of <laughs> mixer that they actually want. Yeah. yeah. Let's try orange juice. <laughs> just mm. throw gross. something in it. It's gross. All right, you want to yeah. jump into yeah, this? Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's do, do it. it. Intro. Right. You guys <laughs> ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's it's Comic Talk, baby. Let's go. Oh, oh. Gotta dance, baby. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we are Unfiltered. Today right. we have a lovely, lovely guest, Adam Wahid. Adam Wahid, ladies and gentlemen. Please, please, please. Thank you. All of our Arab <laughs> viewers. Yes, this is our first Arab guest. Really? I, I broke the- uh, Your sister. Oh, shit. Hidayah. <laughs> Second, second, I'll take it. It's all right. First second. male. Yeah. Best runner up. Yeah. Wait, first male Arab guest. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'll take He's, that. You're Arab? Yeah. I hope I so, because we just made that huge Arab introduction. I, 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 I thought what he's else? from Egypt. What else? Yeah. Yeah, Arab. yeah, that, that, that's Arab. Oh, I thought that's in Africa. Well, technically, yeah. I, I mean, technically, yeah. I'm African American. Oh, yeah, I guess you're can, right. Can African. he be African? I think yeah. it's referred to as, uh, like, Middle Eastern, uh, like a, like a, like a, Middle Eastern, North African. It's, oh, it's a, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. he's definitely more of an Arab than an African. You know what I, mean? I, I guess I, I would. Mean, don't, yeah, don't. Let, he let can, him be whatever he wants. I mean, right? yeah, 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 yeah. You know, <laughs> if I was like when I was like applying for colleges, I don't even think there was like a Middle Eastern <laughs> section, so I would just check African they, American. I don't oh, think they wow. did have a Middle Eastern section. I'd always, I'd always check in Pacific Islander because yeah. I thought no! that was yes. <laughs> That was the closest thing. So in my head, it was like, oh, Pacific, Pacific yeah, Islander. Yeah. Or, or there was just a box that said other. You yeah. thought it was the closest oh, thing? That is I was funny. young. I was, I was 16. I, I didn't know I've, any better. I've done that as well because... I, what is Pacific Islander? That's like Hawaiian, Hawaiian right? Well, us, that's a stick. <laughs> I think Pacific Islander is like, no. like Fiji and like. No, uh, no, is it? So, is so nobody knows what Pacific Islander is. <laughs> okay. Do, do a quick search Pacific before we, we sound Fiji. really. Show no us Pacific Islander. It's on the Pacific. It's Hawaii. It's California. <laughs> <laughs> it, California. You are the opposite. Of Whatever that. is touching. Okay, it's like Native Hawaiian, Samoan. Um, oh, Fiji. Fiji Fijian, yeah. Tongan. And the Marshallese. Oh, okay. I was close. Wow. I was close. The Marshallese and the TJ Maxxes. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <Wow>. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, I felt like 
I, but, but the other times I would put in white, but this was about, I recently found out that, um, if you're Lebanese, you are white. You're not like, is that true? Yeah. Let's Google that. No, I, I already looked it up. I've been proved. We already talked about this and if you're everybody Lebanese, in the you're comments. Considered Caucasian? Yeah, Caucasian, Lebanese. Wow. Isn't that isn't Who's that like you're rules? Arab, you're brown? Like isn't that yeah, like yeah, the? But isn't that's that's in the Middle East? Yeah, yeah. I recently found found this out. I was heartbroken. I don't want to be white. So you're wow. in in this age. <laughs> so you're you're Egyptian, but you were born here. Yeah, born here. Have you been to Egypt? Yeah, I actually went uh, two years ago. It was crazy. I Isn't like, it the best thing in the world? You went? Yes. Did you go inside the pyramid? Yes. You go yeah. inside yes. the pyramid? Oh, yeah. I didn't know you could even like go inside that. It is mind blowing. I don't think I can even imagine what that would be like. Give us a visual. Person. What is like? What does it look like going inside? I can't it's, even it's picture dark. it in my hand. Yeah, it's really it's dark and skinny. It's like, yeah. is it like, oh. is it like Super Mario World or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, there's quicksands. There's just <laughs> elevating blocks. Two, two like, doors that shut on you. They um, have they have set up everywhere. And then it keeps looking like things. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go in and then it like opens up into the room. Yeah, yeah. So you crawl up. Like it actually hurts your back. Like yeah. My back was on fire. <laughs> wow. And you crawl, crawl up this small ladder. It doesn't seem safe at all. Then you get in this room. The room that I went in wasn't like, it's probably the size of this room. To be yeah. Honest. And there's like these holes. Like you saw the holes. There's mm -hmm. holes like in, in the walls that you like look through and they just go on forever. And apparently they're for like conducting energy, which I don't know how that, that makes sense. I have a question. Was there, there was no room like you see in the movies or shows where it's like, you know, it's lit with the torches and then there's a couple of coffins there the with like the, uh, the well, hieroglyphics, there, the statues. There it was, look um, like there's the, the one, it, not the sarcophagus, but there was like the, the box that that goes into that yeah. was in the room oh, and you can get holder. into it. Yeah. yeah. And you can literally go into it. They let you like climb in for oh, a hell Oh, no. hell no. I didn't go in that shit. You know? I, I've seen the mummy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Did you guys hear? I just saw this on the news. There was something about they were um, they were going to uh, and not investigate. What's the fucking word? Oh, you not investigate. They are oh they excavating. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. They're excavating a ton of like sarcophagus sarcophagus sarcophagi and the sarcophagi in cool. Egypt, and it's like hundreds and people oh, are yeah, freaking they just, out. They just found them, like yeah. they were gonna open it up and like re like do and like study it and shit. And people are like, "What the hell are you doing? Opening up these like oh, coffins? I stuff every day. Every, they're still it's crazy, dude. But I I honestly believe like there are. Crazy evil spirits that you cannot like, fuck with well, in, in like in those Egypt sarcophagus. Like sage, if you go in there and sage. I don't know, man. I think I sage is too weak right. for that for that world. Yeah, apparently um, there's like a crazy curse that you get if you open it up. Uh, like grave <laughs> robbing is like the biggest uh, thing punishable by death over there. You're not supposed to. Oh yeah, uh, grave oh, yeah. rob, which Punished I mean death. makes sense, but so yeah, it's like grave robbing though. If you just open it. And just see what's in there. I don't know. Um, just don't put on I, any of the jewelry. Exactly. Yeah. The thing is, <laughs> I feel like if you open it and you see some gold, there's no way you're gonna let it sit. I guess. I mean, I yeah, yeah, I'd probably take it. Um, but yeah, just the sheer size of the the pyramids are absolutely mind blowing. There's no way that like aliens built it for sure. There's no way. Humans. There's no way we did it. There's no way. Yeah, it does telling not us make sense. Each block is insanely like huge, two to right? three tons yeah Even and they claim it. that they brought it with ropes through and through they, the water and they Bugs. put them they put them all on a boat and went upstream miles. Yeah. how many miles no from oh, the stream I don't, I don't think it was like 500 miles i wanted it was one mile no way even if you got there this doesn't matter. Uh, Even if you got there, how do you stack them? Where do you begin? Yeah. Where do you begin? <laughs> how is that one sense. at the top? Yeah. I think the pyramids were there before the Egyptians got there. Ooh, oh, wow. I kind of like that Good theory. Good take. Mm -hmm. But still, how did they get there? I think the world was run by giants. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think there was giants before everything. Have you, have you seen the, the mountains that look like tree stumps? Yeah, exactly. giant trees. Bro, Thank it's you, nuts. Nuts. Yep. I don't know. They're too, like, architecturally, like, there, there's no way they were just there like so someone built it i think i sure. think it was it was movable like if we were to like move this desk and stack it you know I, everything was bigger back then if you the think giants about it. built it the no New everyone York was giants. smaller the average height for a male was like four two like, yeah the egyptians were small don't listen to me yeah everybody was small <laughs> everyone was very small you know like, did you know just getting bigger now king tut was a kid like a kid yeah he was a kid he was like i i always Are you thought serious? growing up hearing yeah. about king tut like whoa i thought he was this man that has seen everything. He was like 13 when he died. And he actually has like, he had a, a bunch of deformities. Like yeah. look up a picture of like what he actually looked like. He like, he was oh. like, oh. Yeah, that's what he looked like. Oh. No Zay, those way. look like your pants from the other Zay, way. you could have been king. <laughs> that literally looks like my body. Oh my God, he has gynecomastia. <laughs> yes, twin. <laughs> look 
at that yeah. ankle. So, okay, can we stop making fun of a dead yeah, king? Yeah, I don't want king. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't claim this negative energy. But yeah, if you get a chance, go to Egypt. It is. It's, it's unreal, insane. but it's wild how like you think those pyramids are just there in like a far away in the desert, but the whole city is just like yeah, right it by takes... it. There's like a McDonald's looking at oh, yeah. the pyramids. Are you serious? Yeah, it, like I really thought, close. I thought you had to go far out no. to, to see no. that. Oh, yeah, it's like it, it, it kind of takes away from oh, the experience a little bit because you think it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that's like when we went to the penitentiary. It's in the middle like, of Philadelphia. Like looking at it, they're always shooting away from the city. They still have the giant sphinx. But it's the like giant um the sphinx. sphinx. That, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Shit. Did, did you, you okay? Stuff hidden in that. Did you see they? Their pe people are saying that the eyes were originally uh, closed and now they just opened. No. What do you mean the the sphinx's eyes? The it's statue? it's the weirdest thing. It's like, a Mandela effect, know. or there's pictures of it before. There's and pictures after. of it before and after. Oh my. It's so weird. I don't know. Oh, oh I think that's some that's angles. Rough. It's I think the people, sun. I, I, I think it's people it. just <laughs> just going in there, sanding down. Yeah, you could easily make that look like it's open. Do they, this was like a whole big thing, like a couple weeks ago, that everybody was like posting about. Uh, do they light them up at night? Like, are there lights projected on it? Or is they it, do a light it's show. Dark, it's dark. Oh, they do like a whole. Wow. I don't even know. Like, they're like, <laughs> go eat at Arby's, like on the <laughs> side. Like they're just doing advertisements projected on the sides of the pyramid. That's on. <laughs> real I is, is there just is there just hundreds of people there every yeah. like every minute yeah. okay yeah it's a oh, lot I mean, this is like a tourist it's like times square they're always trying to just, scam you with the camels and yeah. stuff oh yeah i saw that i saw that video yeah. i saw that there's too. guys handing out flyers <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty touristy it seemed really nice too they're like hey you want to you want me to show you there and then they're just trying to take you to an area just to charge <laughs> you for for something when, when you visited did you feel like this is my motherland. Like, did you like feel like this weird connection or like you'd been there in like a past life or something? No. no. <laughs> Damn it. No, I just felt like, felt like yeah. anywhere I've been. <laughs> when, even when I went inside, they were like, you're going to feel an energy when you go in there. And I was just like, it's freaking hot in here. <laughs> yeah, no you, didn't, you didn't feel, feel anything? Yeah. I didn't feel it. You felt something? I'm it, feeling faint. <laughs> it, 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 I think I felt something because I had learned about it growing up and I was fascinated by like the pyramids. So when I finally got to see it, I think I was just feeling like, Wow. Uh, oh, yeah, I felt like, see, wow. But I mean, did you feel like an energy? Like spirits around me? No, not yeah, really. I didn't feel anything. But it was mm. definitely like an overwhelming sensation. I didn't even feel that. <laughs> I mean, I felt like Bro, more, you like, fucking dirty, heartless like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I've like felt, like I got chills before in hot yoga. If you think about it, dude. <laughs> I mean, I've never like felt anything. I thought like I'd go in there, I'm like, I'm Egyptian. I'm about to go in this bitch. And See some possible, visions. Like, I might fucking shoot something. I might, I don't know. Move who knows? In. And dude, if you grow up around that shit too, as a child every day, you don't, nothing like that really it was disappointing I, maybe i overhyped it because i was like i i was part of a group and we we're all going in and i was the only egyptian and everybody's guy. looking at you like yeah. do, do you feel go it? first go first <laughs> i'm like dude i'm gonna fucking feel something for sure like the rest of these white people won't feel shit yeah. and i went in there and it was just like it was just such a disappointment i mean mm -hmm. it was cool but i just like i didn't feel anything did you go to the uh valley of the kings the valley of the kings no no what, what's that uh it's this huge valley and they found different uh, tombs that go into the cave, like into like the mountain, and you can walk in, and it's so perfectly oh, chiseled. Wow. The walkways to go through it, and the art is literally look at this. It's all over the place, and oh, everything. This is what I mean. This is everything sick. is fucking perfect. Every angle, it it it's it's mind blowing. Whoa, this would wow. this would give me chills. Walking if I into this. this was. Unreal. Oh wait, now it looks like a a, a line that you wait before like the mummy returns. Oh, yeah, <laughs> or, you're, you're, or you're at the Luxor at Vegas. It looks yeah. like, better without anybody in it. It is trippy. I I went into the museum where like all like the the hieroglyphic board yeah. is, and I was like reading it. Uh -huh. I, like, I mean, I don't know how to read it. I was gonna say, no. so you did feel something. <laughs> yeah. I don't. What does it say? I'm reading the story. No, I was reading it. and I was like, this is insane. This is because it's three thousand years ago. You know, wow. aren't there and hieroglyphics I, of planes or some or cars? There's there's like helicopters. There's, there's like emojis. I mean, I saw yeah, some right? emojis. Yeah. I saw this emoji in there. Wait a second. Same thing. <laughs> There was, a, there was emoji in there for sure. And I was like, ah, I, I think we're know. making this shit up. Yeah, they're, defi they're definitely yeah. engraving new shit on I don't there. think they even know how to uh, like decipher what it means. I don't think people can read it. I thought they figured it out in some way, no? In the mummy, they can read it. Like, what do you- So what? it has to be real. I, I think <laughs> so. Brendan they, they, Fraser yeah, can, I mean, can Brendan clearly Frazier, read it. And it's set in the forties. Like, come on. Well, the, the Rosetta Stone is what- Deciphered the hydroglyphics? Yeah. 
Rosetta Stone was Damn, that Rosetta Stone, is that smart? <laughs> hydroglyphics, my bad, I said hydroglyphics. <gasps> That's where they got Rosetta Stone from. Yeah. Wow. So you learn the language. Can you speak any languages? Uh, no, I can't. Um, yeah, it sucks. This guy I, I, my, mom, my mom was <laughs> trying to learn English when she moved here, so. She was like using me. I was going to school. So yeah. You know, so I spoke Arabic when I was young. Do you speak Arabic? No. Yeah. I used to when I was it, a kid. It's so embarrassing. Someone like will start talking to me Arabic. I'm like, ah, oh, no. well, my mom moved here and she was trying to learn English. Don't you wish <laughs> yeah. you could speak Arabic? It's, it no. sucks. I mean, I should get Rosetta Stone and learn. <laughs> How did your mom learn? Did she like take classes or did she just watch Friends a lot? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, she definitely doesn't know what Friends is. Um, she just just literally moved here, didn't speak English, and then she just figured it out. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. How many siblings you got? Three. What Three are older sisters. Do you have a sister named Galaxy? Yes, I do. Wow. Galaxy? That's crazy. I, I found it on the internet today. <laughs> but it, one's like, it's like Sabrina and Gabby and like yeah. Galaxy. Yeah. I'm like, wow. Galaxy, they had a lot of she, fun with like that. She's yeah. part of the Kardashians because yeah. they have like interesting names. Yeah. Galaxy. That's Boom, cool. They just went to regular names after Gabby, Sabrina, Adam. That's <laughs> interesting. Whoa. Yeah. Were you, were you, and people think like it's a lie. Like that's her actual government name. I'm going to name you Galaxy because you my whole world. <laughs> <baby>. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy, was Galaxy the first? Yeah, the first. Right, that's why. Galaxy the first. What? Galaxy like the, the first. first. That's oh, the I thought her full name was Galaxy yeah, the she's first. A, she's a queen. Galaxy the first. Galaxy, Galaxy the first. Galaxy the first. Yeah. And you're the youngest of all of those girls. The youngest. Do you yeah. think that like played into like the man you are today? That you had all sure. these great females around you yeah, raising I you. Like, I feel like I know women way more, uh -huh. way more than like the average guy. I mean, I grew up with like three sisters, like. I see what they're like without makeup, what they yeah. do in the bathroom. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all the intricacies, you know? Yeah. So I feel like I had a leg up for sure. That's now. good. Were you guys raised up strict? Uh, yes and no. I think like the first half of like when my when we first started going, my mom was a little strict and then she just got more Americanized as we lived here. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, I, did, I had like a curfew when I was like, Younger and then it went yeah, away. Yeah, no, that's and, normal. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean that just like in, in the culture, I just feel like it's much more strict. But it looks yeah, like I mean, you, she's, you aren't. She's way more Americanized. Now. Oh, good. Okay, are it's they not good? But. Are they all in LA? No, I was in New York. Okay, wait, you're from New York? York? Yeah, born and raised. What, what part again? What part? Queens. <gasps> Queens. I was born in Staten Island. Oh wow, I've actually never been to Staten Island. Yeah, you're not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like oh, great I, food. I've great never, food. I've never, and I've never been to the Statue of Liberty either. And I'm born and raised in New York. What? How long were you there until you moved? 19. Wow. 19 years, yeah. you never went to the Statue of Liberty. Never. How never. old are you now? Uh, 29. Okay. You are not American. You're friend. not from yeah. Long Island or what, what did I read? Oh, on, well, like... so my family is on Long Island now. Oh, okay. Yeah, but so... you're not from like Chapa, Ch Chanuk or what high school uh, did you go to? Comac. Didn't Rosie O'Donnell go there? Good <laughs> I learned <laughs> he that. He hasn't been to the Statue of Liberty. Shit, I this guy knows know. more about me than I <laughs> <laughs> uh, I Fuck, I think she did go there. Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I Rosie that. O'Donnell's the one that got canceled, right? Uh-huh. Oh, like oh, a lot. Yeah. Rosie O'Donnell's back. Oh, Roseanne. <laughs> oh, it, wait, which one's Rosie O'Donnell then? Rosie she O'Donnell. She had the talk show. Yeah. She had the slinky. Roseanne. She also the... went to my high school. Yeah. No, she didn't. I don't know. Wait, the right. slinky? I'm sorry. Ro well, I was saying on her talk show, she had all the toys on her desk. Pam Anderson or Rosie O'Donnell? But they both got a yeast, yeast infection. infection. You're disgusting. What is that? Hey, from, what is that from? Uh, white, chicks, white, white chicks. White chicks. Oh, yeah. that's it. You really are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> he picks Pam Anderson, right? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you have to. Yeah, that's okay. Rosie. Yeah, oh, yeah. She got. She Rosie. did get. She did get fucking canceled. Well, I with don't that know. Tweet, right? No, no that was yet. Roseanne. That's her. I no, swear. Ro that's Ro her. You were yeah, talking it was about Roseanne. It was Roseanne for sure. Roseanne had like the TV show with like a sitcom. Roseanne. Her name was actually Roseanne. Yes. Roseanne, who was married to- Why is that unbelievable? Ted, uh, she just Tom looks Martin. like somebody that would say some crazy Rose shit on Twitter. Roseanne Barr. That's who you're thinking of with John Goodman. Oh, yeah. that doesn't even look like someone. Well, like. she's old now, but like- In my head, when I heard about this, I was picturing Rosie O'Donnell. Oh, wow. No. When I heard looks about like, it. It looks like half of us did. She had a huge show. It was like a huge sitcom. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's not about uh, her. Right, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What was the tweet again, Matt? <laughs> Your time came and went. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rosie. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, SeatGeek. Summer concerts are here, and that means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code UNFILTERED. And if you didn't already know, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple, and we got the app right on our phone, baby. Show it to them. It is by far the easiest and best way to buy tickets. With so many amazing concerts, Concerts and festivals happening right now, you're not gonna wanna miss out, baby. We're talking The Weeknd, The mm. Doja Cat, mm. The Justin Bieber, <gasps> Olivia Rodriguez, okay. Shawn Mendes, and so much more. And SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good and red means it's not the best deal. 
And don't worry, we've got the hookup. Use code UNFILTER for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. We literally use it for everything. So if you want to get a ticket to a sporting event, a concert, festival, whatever you want, and save money like us, you're going to get $20 off your first purchase with promo code UNFILTERED. Make sure to click the link in the description or download the app. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you. Do you a call hero. sandwiches heroes? I call them hoagies. No. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Is it a hoagie or roll? <laughs> I just call them sandwiches. I don't even call them heroes. Yeah, sandwiches. but I call that's a sub. A yeah, hero. A sub. So what yeah. a sub is is a hero, but a sandwich is a sandwich. And some people call yeah. them grinders. Grinders. No, I, like I'm people not, in no. California sometimes call them grinders. grinders. Yeah, that's like all. Alicia. I was with Alicia Marie, and she was like, I was doing that test with her where you figure out where you're from based on like your oh yeah, the yeah phrases yeah, yeah. you use, uh -huh. and she was like grinder. That, that sounds so dirty. Like, yeah. I yeah. Really yeah. For a grinder. Yeah. <laughs> is it because you grind Give me a meat grinder. A I have no clue. I think it's just a local thing. You call it lunch meat or cold cuts? No, cold cuts. Cold cuts. Cold cuts. Yeah. Lunch meat's weird. I, I, I grew up saying lunch, lunch meat. meat. No. Every time I think about it, it's, it sounds it's lunch more, meat. It sounds gross. It, it does sound gross. It sounds gross. Gross. It does sound pretty cheap. Cold cuts is cool. Yeah, what does it cuts. say on the package? Cold cuts? Here it's it definitely not it says, lunch meat. Yeah. <laughs> not lunch meat. I know yeah, that. It's, yeah, it's not lunch meat. <laughs> well, we were also buying the ones that came in a pack of six that had every type of lunch meat. <laughs> so you got you oh, had your bologna. Pack. Yeah, bologna, ham, pastrami. Oh, you're eating variety meat. Yeah. Yeah. Lunch meat. Yeah, variety <laughs> variety lunch meat. But I love me my bologna. Those Oscar Mayer, oh. <laughs> With the string? Yeah. The string, you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, oh. yeah. You, you pull it from the string, you go, all, that's yeah. That's disgusting. I remember that. Oh, what you don't like that? What in the world? <laughs> oh, are you, you, just you just not like me? You just not like me. Yeah, that's gross. The, the the red strip, like, just freaked me out. That it was even the like, red strip? What, what red strip? Oh, the strip? meat, the casing? The, it's like bologna. the crust of the yeah, bologna. The, and you had to, like, peel off the red. Oh, yes. Wait, we didn't have that shit in Just the skin around the edge. The, every the slice you of could bologna. do it to, to a pepperoni too, like the thick pepperoni. They have like that. Oh wait, crust. No, I was talking about. There's actually like a red like strip. Oh, it's you're not supposed the to skin. eat it. Yeah. Oh, it's the skin. No, no. what? That's the intestine. Oh gosh. <laughs> Those are veins. I don't know. <laughs> the bologna is the smushed up meat that comes out of this yeah. fucking This conversation okay. is bologna. Oh. <laughs> but were you a good kid growing up? Did you get into trouble? We uh, you know, was, making was, good grades. I was the guy that like always gathered people out outside of the classroom, you know, like the bathroom guy. And then I'd like get people out and I'd start like a gang outside in the hallway. <laughs> uh, but besides that, like I didn't really do like, I wasn't that bad of a kid. I mean, I never like went to class, cheated on everything, uh, cheated all through college. Pretty so bad. you're bad in the sense of like work with, your, with just school work in general. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I, I always say like, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. It's way harder. There's more of a risk. <laughs> I true. love there's, that. Well, there's more of a risk cheating. Anybody can study. You're a hustler. It's, it's right. an easy way out it studying. Uh, cheating is like, you're risking it all every single time. And it's very hard to cheat. And you have to be very, it's, and do it's a it skill. And not get caught. You don't want to copy, you know, word for word. Cha you got to change stuff I had up. A whole, I had like a, a system in college that worked all four years. What I would do is like the school I went to, you could go and grab the test, like up at the, uh -huh. desk, yeah. you know? so I'd grab two and then I'd put one on my desk and then I put the other one on my shirt, go to the bathroom, have someone in the library, take the whole test for me, put it back under my shirt, come back into the classroom, swap the test. And I did it for four years straight. What? Wow. Someone in the library? Like who would, who would this person be? Just somebody that you find or you, <laughs> somebody on his payroll. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Like a girl that I knew or somebody that was, yeah, I wouldn't just go find a random person. Like, Yo, can you take this test for me? Yeah, no, no. What do they get in return? It's just a, a friend, yeah, a, a, a friendly, a cool thing. friend. Yeah. I mean, that's no, a good friend. There's some people that are genius. Like taking tests for some people are like freaking, you know, how easy it is for me to like shoot a basketball or something, you know, like it's like nothing for them. Right. You know? And they already took the test. So it's like, yeah, you, we didn't have any of those in our school. Everybody was idiots. Are you a good basketball shooter? I'm decent. Okay. What was your sport? Was it Bring basketball? Or did I, actually, you play? I played football in college. Whoa. What position? Yeah, corner. Corner. Wow. Yeah, Speed. I used to be way bigger. What's the mascot? Uh, uh, the ponies. The, the, the ponies. The ponies. It's, it's a pony, but it, we're the, we were the Mustangs. Oh. SMU Mustangs. It's in Dallas, Texas. I don't know if you heard of them. Yeah. Southern Methodist University? Yeah. So is that yeah, where you went I'm, to? I'm from Dallas. Yeah, so, oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so My high right. school was also the Mustangs, too. <laughs> That's oh, funny. Shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I played there for four years. Wow. At Damn. SMU? Yeah. Get out. Yeah, man. Wow. Have, have you, you crossed did paths? You, did you want to go to the league? Uh, I did. I wasn't good enough. But I'm happy. I'm so happy with what you I'm should, doing You now. should blame it on an injury. Never say that you weren't good well, I actually did get injured. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, no, I seriously did. I seriously did. I had tore two ligaments in my ankle. Oh, and yeah. that's when you that's when you started getting bad, and that's when the, you got kicked off. Well, I never got kicked off. Uh, I actually had one more year to play, and mm -hmm. I had graduated. Right, I got my bachelor's that I cheated for, <laughs> and then nice. um, I had one more year to play, and I was just 
I was kind of over it. I just didn't want to do it anymore. And um, I moved in with my sister who was living in Houston. And I lived with her for like three months. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do with my life? Like, I wasn't going to get a nine to five. I just had no clue what I was going to do. And my sister was like, oh, you, you're always funny. You, you, you've always been funny. You should go to LA and be an actor. And I was like, all right. <laughs> Give wow, it your, your just sister like that? said that. That's yeah. crazy. Was this Which Galaxy? Sister? No, Gabby. My okay. Oh, it's, it sounds like Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Very, something well, she Galaxy was. wasn't out there like that. <laughs> <laughs> she was more reserved. <laughs> really? What year was this when this, this happened? This was... Um, 2016. So that, oh, yeah. That's, did you, how old did are you? Did you attempt Vine? Were you doing Vine at no, all for everyone fun? everyone always thinks I was on Vine. People always come to me like, I love your Vine. You seem I, like someone that, did, yeah, that used yeah, to do yeah, Vine. I get it, and I just yeah. never correct them. It's like, well, I'm not going to sit there and explain to you. Like, I actually started when Instagram started. I'm just like, no, oh, just thanks. take it. Yeah, just yeah, take I just it. Say thanks. That's a compliment, kind of. Yeah, so, um, no, I never started on Vine. I started on Instagram. Got wow. it. Wow. Yeah. So what were like the first like kind of videos you were making? Were you just uh, emulating off something you had seen or just trying to test things out until something stuck? It took me like five months to make my first videos, like 30 seconds. I like shot it. It was blurry. Then I Oh, so you were a perfectionist before you even started. No, I wasn't even a perfectionist. It was just like complete ass. It was like, oh, okay. it, it couldn't, it couldn't be, it wasn't postable. Got it. Um, and I just had no clue what I was doing. I never like went to film school. I never like, I don't know anybody who filmed anything. I've never filmed anything. I never acted. Nothing. So I was like just winging it. Trying you to have your three sisters. We got the mic. Yeah. We got the. <laughs> yeah. No. And, and I, and I moved here when I moved here. I didn't know. I didn't know one person, nobody. So like, I'm just asking. People, that's insane. Like, trying to figure it out. I could never do that. So that's so scary. Yeah, dude. I, well, when I first moved here, uh, I was just working as an assistant, like for a year and a half. Oh, okay. And then a year and a half in, I was like, let me try to make videos. Cause like none of the acting stuff or stand up stuff was working. Who were you assisting? Uh, a guy named Kenny. He was like in music. Okay. Um, okay. Still good friends with him, but I, I I knew him through a family friend, and he's like, "Oh, just come out here. I'll be my assistant, and uh, you know, I'll show you. I'll like introduce you to people and whatever." And I was doing it, but everybody I was meeting, I was meeting them as an assistant. So everyone was like, "Get the fuck out of here!" You know? Yeah. Right. Like, oh, by the way, I do comedy, and they're like, "Yeah, cool," you know. Yeah. So I've been on both sides of the coin. Like when you have like. No following, no leverage. Right. And then when you do have it, it's, as you guys know, it's a completely different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. game. That's and that's so how crazy. you just grew on Instagram. You kept posting, kept posting. And you're posting videos, right? 2016 had videos. This was when there was 15 second videos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 15. Yeah. yeah 15. I like that. Yeah. Do you like 15. having the uh, extended version now, being able to post oh, longer? Yeah, it's way better. I don't know how people did it on Vine. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Six seconds? Yeah. Well, you you know, we would hack it. We would hack it so we can post 6.5 seconds. Yeah. Did you know oh, that? that extra, really? There'd be a way you could hack it. Yeah. And if post an extra half. App, right? uh -huh. Yeah. And then you yeah. upload into it. People don't know that point second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a punchline a right joke. there. A yeah. point second is a minute in the Vine world. It, it helps a lot. Oh, yeah. It really is. Like that point second is the difference between like, it's like a complete ending mm -hmm. to a movie. Yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> remember the first Vine that came out the first vine that was edited like cgi and everybody oh, yeah. freaked out everyone was like how the fuck did everybody was so pissed it was marcus johns everybody was furious because people were like how the hell did he do that how the hell do you uh, do cgi on a video and post it through a vine app that doesn't make and people sense. people didn't believe that it, they were hacking it and uploading they thought it was real They're yeah trying to, like, they, find the button yeah that does that They're like, what? what a time oh, yeah it was so tedious too because like you could also hear like you touching the screen yeah. too like yeah. you gotta be like really quiet when you press it <laughs> like oh, one you guys, go you guys were all on vine um, yeah. I mean, yeah, us three, Mariah, yeah. kind of, yeah. Damn, I wish yeah. I was. She was, she was, she was on, she was on Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really worked at Panda Express. Yeah, I don't want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Panda Express is great. Oh I, yeah, I love. Let's Panda talk Express. about it. What was your first job? Did you Coles. like Coles? Yeah. All right. And I was in the, I was in the back moving boxes. Just so like, I was like, one day I'm gonna get on the floor. I'm gonna do retail. I feel like that's I'm better gonna... than being on the floor. No, no dude, it was terrible. Oh, like, yeah. had, we had those swinging doors, so like every once in a while the light would creep in, and I'd be like. Oh, oh, customer. Like, customer. <laughs> and then it closed and I back to movie boxes. Oh, that's fine. I thought not dealing with people was always nice, like working in a retail store. No, like that. no I, I wish I was on the floor. That was It was more money if you worked on the floor. Too. Okay. I got hired at Hollister and they told me I was going to be a model. And then I, <laughs> I took the job and then my first day there, they stuck me in the back and I was organizing Ooh. shelves. I know how it I was goes. like, I don't really feel like a model right now. <laughs> did, did you watch that Abercrombie documentary? No, I heard it's really good though. Crazy, crazy. It's just oh, like it's where so they put the, good. they put like the ugly people like, or they wouldn't even hire them. Literally. They put the, they put the what in the back? What were you about to say? I was going to say, I was going to say, you ugly, but you're not ugly. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. <laughs> and then Maybe they put that the, in the, look at you, look, look, 
got a chest now. Okay. I, mean, I, I, I don't consider myself ugly, and they put me in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I actually what? got the job off a holiday. Uh, like, you know when they need extra work for yeah. the holiday? That's how yeah. I got in the system, uh, you know? So my job wasn't even guaranteed well, you after cheated your way in. Yeah. You know, if you do well, we'll keep you around. Yeah, we'll keep you for Black Friday that's if you do they, well. That's what they said. <laughs> Fuck you. <Yeah. laughs> the worst night to work. Please don't. <laughs> it was rough, man. Any, any other jobs you had except for... Retail? I did that, then I went to college, and then assistant. Being assistant oh, yeah. was pretty shitty, too. I hated it. Like, getting coffee. and like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get grind. to the point where, like, this person's life is more important than yours. Like, uh -huh. I'm scheduling stuff for them. Like, I'm not doing anything. I think just myself. as long as you're busy with them, I think that's what makes it fun. But yeah. I was rough. I He's like, no, I didn't have any fun at all. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have fun at all. No. I mean, it's like you're pretty much just, like living someone else's life. It's almost worse than working at Kohl's. Fuck. I mean, yeah. like, you know, like, yeah. I feel like, cause it's a 24 hour job and it's an on call job. So like, I would be doing stuff like it. I was even shooting videos. And then if my boss called me, I have to leave. Jordan, get out of the room. I don't want you to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I had that thought the last five seconds. I was just like, not you, baby. But you know, it's, it's, it's a good job, man. And it's, <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of good people do it, you know? <laughs> It's, it's honorable. It's honorable. It's you, do, you do that, that, that <laughs> kick that no, under yeah. the table. <laughs> That's noble, so it's funny. It's a noble job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, dude, if you break it down, I think every job sucks. That's not like something that's yeah. what you want to do. Work is work regardless of what you're yeah. doing. That's true. Yeah. Did you, oh, how was your love life growing up? Did you Were you like the ladies man? Did you have like one girlfriend, a lot of girlfriends? I was a ladies guy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I, um, I've actually been in two relationships. What's the longest one? Two years. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, and that was tough. Recent? That was tough. Oh, it was like two years ago. Oh wow. Yeah, two years ago. Um, it's tough, man. It's tough. Relationships are hard. I don't know how people do it. Mm -hmm. I how? mean, I'm at the point now where I want to have a wife. Oh, you're ready? Start kids and have kids. How old are you? Twenty nine. Do That's we like, even have a girlfriend is. yet? Not yet. Okay. No. Well, <laughs> well, I think I think like this next year. Is I think when I'm you'll gonna be... have a wife and kids for sure. That's good. Just a wife and kids all in one year. Love that. Yeah. Get He's I, playing catch up. Arabs do it fast, baby. Yeah. Oh, do yeah. it fast. I mean, I wanted to have a wife and kids before 30. So oh, I mean, right. I have six more months. So at least if I get the wife mm -hmm. in the next six months, have the kids. Yeah. So I, I, mean, I totally understand list. when people want to have it before 30. I mean, that's like, that's the normal age to have a wife and kids. I always thought yes. I was going to have kids and, and like a family at 25. Because all like of our parents number. did. Yeah, yeah. Right. And now I'm like 25. I was an idiot when I was 25. Yeah, Your parents right. young when they had you or were yeah, they? Yeah, like 25. Or like 25. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. I I don't feel I'm not ready for a kid. You don't think so? What? Do you like kids in general? <laughs> right, I love. I love. Yeah. Jordan, let's get out of here. You, you don't need. You don't need to hear this. Um, no, I love kids. I would love to have a kid. It's just I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. It just doesn't feel right. I feel like it's just I would, a baby in my in my like, still, chest, and it's mine. Yeah, I'm so still working sense. on myself. I well, I, just, I still have shit to do. Well, what, what age do you see yourself having a kid? Like probably 45. 50. 45. Oh, what? 50. what? You're not even going to play with your kids. Hell early, yeah. early thirties. I don't know. Oh man. god, yeah, but imagine having kids when you're like that old too. I mean, how, I many, how many do you want though? It all depends. If you want one kid, four, then sixteen. Yeah, I want four kids. Yeah. I think you. Everybody wants what they grew up with. I was gonna say I grew. I'm one of four. So yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I would want four kids, so I have to get to work. I have to start yeah. pumping them out. Do you have names in mind for these kids? No, I haven't thought that far. Okay. Jupiter, Milky Way. Super Supernova. I'm naming Sam. them all in hieroglyphics. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like that. Okay. Just okay. winged it. Oh, what's their the name? Teachers reading it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? This is <laughs> is here. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get to that point. Yeah, man. Four kids, wife. So I gotta, I gotta find. It's tough. It's so hard. Like. I meet most girls through Instagram, which is rough. DM sliding. Are, are you sliding in their DMs or are they sliding into yours? A little bit of both. What's your move? What, do you have like the same line you say over and I over? I have a move that's 100% success rate. Oh, cool proof? Yeah. Do share. Cool proof. <laughs> so what I do is I DM a girl. Yes. Oh. That's that, it. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, I just she DM responded them. to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I just DM them right now. No. Um. So then they say, yes, what? Yes, I'd love to hang out. Yes, I'd love to get to know you more. You oh, that's whatever. what you lead to. I thought it would be like, oh, I'm sorry. I like, I don't no, know. Like you no, did no, it like no, as no, an no. accident. Yeah, that wouldn't work. So sure. it's usually just, yes, what? 
And then, and then, then you can say whatever you want. Yes, you're. Did a anyone creep. stump you? <laughs> was anyone's response like shit? That didn't work. Ah, uh, no, it's a ten out of ten success rate. Wow, no, never, never has it not worked. No, I mean, I've okay, so I've experimented with no. That has not worked. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's like it's, you're starting Very negative. Yeah, it's a negative. It's not. You don't want to be a I mean, no man. I, I've also tried maybe. Okay, maybe we should hang out. Maybe we should <laughs> get to know each other a bit more. <laughs> it's like it's it's a five out of it's ten. It's so disrespectful. <laughs> maybe. <Yeah. laughs> I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Maybe. But no two girls have ever been like, oh, you have been Did talking he give to him? You a yes? he, uh, he like, I'm sure it's happened, but it's never got back to me. Uh, That's all that matters. Then sure, it didn't yeah, happen. Yeah. Do you got a type? Uh, to be honest, I actually don't. Uh, I mean, it's tough. I, I, it just, some, if someone looks pretty, like if, some, if a girl looks good, uh, it's you. not dependent on like- Shallow a bitch. Certain <laughs> 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 I'm like giving the most politically correct answer. I'm like all races, all body types. Just I mean, a body positive woman. Yeah, whatever you identify as, I'm skin. down. No, um, <laughs> That's what, you see all those celebrities in those interviews. Yeah. Like, oh, just, you know, any, anybody's my type, anybody would love. It's like, you bullshit. <laughs> Horseshit. Uh, okay, yeah, You're I do have a type. type. Yeah, everybody yeah, has a yeah, type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing yeah, wrong with it. saying you have a type. I'll say my type. Yeah, exactly. Say your type. Yeah, I like, say I your like, type. I like um, I like Latina girls a lot. Um, <laughs> okay. I like. But what about I like girls the with like a, a hint of Asian in them? Okay. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Yeah, a little I'll bit of spice. Keep going. What, what else? No, what no, else? No, That's then, it. Well, I guess like my, my my first girlfriend was half white, half black. Uh, but mm -hmm. she had like kind of an Asian type of look to her. A fusion. Ooh. And then yeah. my last girl uh, was was Latina. Spicy. But also kind of had an Asian type of look to her. What is okay. an Asian type of look? Okay, <laughs> yeah, now it's going Adam. too far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> it's, it's the, I'll explain it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You will explain it. Just that was my half black Asian kind Take of look. Take it away, Zay. I was like. Yeah. <laughs> Say <Zane>, let's not. <laughs> no, I'm not. This is gonna make the edit. <laughs> no, this is not the yeah. roast of rice. Oh, not shit. the roast of rice. Oh, by the way, you are absolutely incredible on that. Oh, so good. On the best on the the roast of the rice. Oh, thank you. Guys. Oh yeah. Oh my god, yeah, we were, were dying. Best. Appreciate. It. I didn't know if you guys so were funny. Like, just laughing because you had to, or if no. well, that too, hundred yeah. percent. But like, you were really. But fun. we didn't have to force ourselves as much with you as the others. But you did yeah. force yourself at some point. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, I mean, every joke's not going to You have to show, like, a, like, the room has to be filled with laughter in order for <coughs> you guys to do, like, better. I, I mean, I had, the, like, I think I had, like, 28 jokes, something yeah. like that. So, the I mean, Tana uh, OnlyFan income one was, that one yeah, was good. Thanks. Unreal. That was yeah. so good. Yeah, you know what? I didn't know when I when I was coming up with that joke. I, didn't, I was like, I thought that was going to go over everyone's head. I was like, that was a very iffy joke. Yeah. Can, can, like, you, can you say what it is right now? Just I so they can. Yes, it was, um, damn, I hope I don't butcher it. It was, uh. What was it? It was uh, a Tana makes a lot of money on OnlyFans. I don't know your net, but I do know you're gross. Oh, <laughs> I, I it's such a, it's such like a, so it's good. such a hanging yeah. joke, you know? Like, yeah. it gives you a second, and then mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this joke good. might like flop completely. Nobody might get it. She was so good. And Tana oh is God. such a good person to just destroy because she she's takes every joke yeah. as a good. Yeah, it's, she loves oh, yeah, it. She's, yeah. you know, I love that honest, about everybody her. Everybody was a good sport. Yeah. Like, yeah, nobody got offended, you know. Yeah, um, but crowd. yeah, she definitely. I feel like I was. It felt like the roast of Tana. Like I, I, had, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, it really should have been. I had to look back be. at my jokes and like, I have to take this Tana joke. I have too many Tana, <laughs> Tana, <laughs> Tana jokes. That would have been. You should just kept it all. All my jokes were just all Tana. Tana. She yeah. probably thought I had like something against her personally. I'm yeah. like, oh, you're just really easy to write jokes for. <laughs> She's easy target. Yeah, but Jonah. <laughs> Jonah was an easy target too. Yeah, I had so many. I had to cut a lot of jokes for him. I, how, so I forget how his set was. Was this set good? I can't. can't Jonas, remember. yeah, um, oh, it was pretty good. Better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like having a hard time. It, it was better than I thought. Do you do stand up or that was like your first time no, like, no, on stage? I do stand up. Oh, do you do stand up. Stand -up. Okay, yeah. actively. Uh, I just started getting back into it. So when I first started, when I first moved here, when I was like uh, assisting, I was uh, doing stand up. I was trying to get auditions and stuff, <laughs> but. When the video took off, I was like, "Fuck! Why would I try to make twenty people in a room?" Laugh? Exactly. Like, right. People laugh. Yeah, right. And um, I just kind of abandoned it. And then I was like, I always told myself, when I get an audience, I'll go back to it. So I'm finally going back. Were you just That's doing so open sick. mics, or were you like um a, on, on a set list, like with a bunch of people for like a lot of open mics? I definitely did some shows too, but nothing like, dude. They were like, I was doing like shows at a bar that like people were eating at, and, like not even paying attention, like really shitty gigs. Yeah. How um, many minutes did you have like prepared? Like, could you go for five? Could you go for ten? I had like, like a uh, hot, like 15. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So, what was your first stand-up joke? Can you remember it? <laughs> wow. That's that's a tough one. I don't remember. Um I had I well, okay, one time I was doing a show in New York 
And I was just like, just fucking bombing the whole time. Nobody's laughing. It's so uncomfortable. I'm saying jokes. You know, like I have jokes written and they, they escalate and there's like, right. they go into other jokes. And if no one's laughing at like the first three to this story, like Ugh. scrap the going, whole thing. Yeah. You know? I'm like fucking exiting out of bits, like left and right. I don't and know how like, people do that. Six <clears throat> minutes goes by and like literally I haven't got a laugh yet. And it's like, it's getting uncomfortable at this point. Right. I so would I'm laugh. Like, I have to laugh at like even bad stand up because I can't stand the tension I know. of nobody yeah. laughing. Yeah, I'm a very absolutely. sympathetic laugher. Yeah, you have to like, be. You can hear waiters like, <laughs> like and stuff. You want another screwdriver? <laughs> yes. yes. Like that guy's going through something at home, am I right? <laughs> and I'm just bombing, right? And I'm like, I build out of like seven jokes at this point. I'm like, all right, fuck, I gotta do some crowd work. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, and what there was, you go. What was that? So, so. It's like in this, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like in this basement in New York, like very small venue. So I just go up to the guy in the front. I'm like, so where are you from? I have no clue what I'm going to say. Like, I don't know what he's going to say. I have no response, like loaded, <laughs> nothing, you know? I'll do another one. It's like, 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 he could have easily been like, I'm from Minnesota. I'm like, cool. <laughs> you know? yeah. Yeah. So didn't have any hey. response. Oh, really? So, so I'm like, where are you from? And he's like, I'm from here. And I'm like, oh, you're from this basement? Oh, place a rough sleep. Oh, what the fuck? The stupidest <laughs> joke. The stupidest joke, right? And then I'd have been like, good night. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm like, oh shit. Like, wow. All, All right. right. So I get back into a joke. Bomb. Oh, <laughs> so you, you, you're supposed to leave. As soon as that joke hit, you leave. Yeah. You, oh, you're you from this more. basement? Have a good night, guys. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. Because they would, they, would, they would think that like they missed the whole set. Like, oh my right. God, we missed him. Like, yeah, he was yeah. funny. Anyone who came in on the tail end was like, that guy killed it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. This guy was crushing. Yeah, yeah. So, so I said that joke, and then, then I went back to uh, like material and just bombed again, and then just left. Yeah. And that was it. That yeah. one joke was the, and I try to like, <laughs> I didn't even. I scrapped all those jokes in the next stand-up show. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask someone else. Are you are you from this basement? <laughs> and then he's like, please, please. And they're like, I'm from Jersey. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should have said here. I res I respect that that you tried. You know, yeah. you oh. really tried. You fucking pushed through it. Oh, dude, it's it's so uncomfortable. It's dude, stand-up is one of the hardest things. It's so it's so freaking hard. Yeah, yeah. utmost respect for you. Yeah. You would be that. great on like Whose Lines in any way. I love that show. Yeah, I did a, I did a lot of improv. Oh, did yeah. you do Groundlings, UCB? No, uh, I actually just did like improv shows. I just didn't even went. Didn't just even just jumped right into it. Um, Through Collab. You guys know Collab? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we did the oh, yeah. same. It was like classes and then you had a yeah, show in the yeah. end. Yeah. Oh, those. Yeah. Um, oh my it's God. so I fun. I can't make time doing that shit because I did really? it too. Did they have it the same year? They had you it every year. He, you were in like the first yeah. class, the first troupe. Mm -hmm. I did the second one. You were really great. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, he was really good. I remember I being that. very I impressed I when I saw you. I here being good at improv. It's just like, it's just yes, like, it's Absolutely not. I like you the know. exercise of doing improv, but like yeah. actually doing it for a show, I like, I, like I hate. Yeah, zap. Zap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, hold I on. You sorry. Good. No, I was in my, <laughs> sorry, in my head, I was thinking about why Zane isn't good. I feel like he can't put himself into a hypothetical situation, like being like a character. So if you're like, oh Zane, you love water skiing, he'd be like, no, I don't. When have I ever said I like water skiing? <laughs> and you just be like, if we, if no, no, yeah, if we were in a class, I just couldn't come up with something fast enough. Like my brain just does not you process just gotta that. Agree. That's the number one rule of improv. Yes, yes and yes yeah. and I go uh, and, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, and no, and, uh, uh. but yeah, I, I remember that we did that like last show, and I said this joke, and everyone was like, oh my Zane, that was great. I'm thinking back now. I think everybody just pitied like that. They were just being nice and they knew that I sucked. But I always think about that. I feel like I truly did. Improv bomb. is easier. It's easier to make people laugh <clears throat> during improv, in my opinion, yeah. because like the audience knows that you're coming up with it on the spot. Like stand yeah. up, like oh, yeah. you're supposed to have material. It does ready. make it funnier. It's more yeah. impressive yeah, too. They know that, oh, this is on the spot. I it's, just did, yeah, um, you like respect it more. You're like, yeah. okay. I did a, I just did Wow Now, which was- Oh, oh no way. You did awesome. that? Wow. It was epic. Did you watch, did you just watch that, watch I, that as a kid? Oh my God, I watched like every single episode growing he, up. That's like, awesome. Dude, that's I, fucking oh, sick. Did you do like one whole season or just one episode? No, no, I, so like, I always wanted to be on the show and I think I, I think I tried and I didn't get on. Was it? Was there an audition or they just asked you back because it didn't no, work out the first time? No, I tried to get an audition. I couldn't even get the audition. Oh. Yeah. Um, but the audition is like, it's very similar, to, I think, to like SNL's audition. You have to come right. on and do a bunch of characters. You have to do are you, like some of the improv games. Are you auditioning to just like two or three people or the whole team that's already on it? No, well, I was auditioning to be a cast member. Right. But yeah. who are you auditioning for? Well, I never even got to the audition. Oh. <laughs> I never got to that part. Oh, yeah. I, tried, oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I tried to get an audition. I oh, right. get okay. an audition. But um, whatever, like a couple years went by and then, you know, my videos took off on the internet and I started doing that, whatever. And I kind of forgot about it. 
And then uh, they reached out and asked me to be like the guest on the oh, show. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's yeah. so cool. Epic. How they was it? They remember you? It was, yeah, it was amazing. Oh my God. Oh, you never got the audition. Wait, yeah. Just kidding. No, no, you no, never no. got the audition. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I never got the audition. So what was the audition process like? <laughs> so tell us more about this audition. Yes, I, I, I never got there. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. My yeah, bad, sorry. That is funny. <clears throat> Not being yeah. yeah. Um, but it was dope. It was Has dope. it aired yet? No, not yet. It comes out, I think, like, end of the summer. Oh, my God. All right, guys, wow. they should check it out. Is it still called Nick Cannon's Wild and yeah, Out? Yeah, Is Nick Cannon still on it? Yeah, he's on it. I, like, he's got still on going. a bunch of... I, I went against him in the Wild style. Oh, shit. That's so cool. Oh, man. Did you get any, like, eh, or, like... I don't know. Did no, you make any jokes no, that, like, fell didn't. flat? I, didn't get any, I, I, like, overprepared <laughs> for this thing. I, oh, I was, really? was going to say, how much of it can you, like, go into it with? Like, is it... All improv? Can you like have a little bit of something so, that you could bring? I mean, yeah, it's all improv, but like for example, like the wild style, like you know who you're going against. Oh, okay. You know, you know cool. the, yeah. You, you yeah, do your research. Yeah. And like even like for the Bryce Hall roast, like I researched everything. I wrote everything. There was tons of maneuvers where like if this doesn't work, I can segue this way. I right. can do this. I can yeah. play off the crowd. So I like did my research. I like went in. Like I had a pretty much a bar for each person. Yeah, and I didn't good. even get to do each person, but I just had just stuff case. locked and loaded. And it went really well. Were you able to uh, like? So did they cool. did they let you go on a lot of things? Like, were you were you were you perform? Uh, come again? Were, sorry, sorry, <laughs> my, my brain. Did, were you were? You're fine. Oh my god! You're I literally fine, you're fine. did. They air you a lot. Like, did you? Were you able to uh, <laughs> say a lot of jokes? Yeah, oh my god! Sorry, okay. sorry. Imagine he goes on while and out, and he's just like, "Oh, the crowd ready to eat that up." Yeah, my beta blocker. Your mom is so. <laughs> this is then, your mom. Yo Nick Cannon's like, you're fine, you're fine. I, I, I feel like now since like we have this and like I don't have to worry about like embarrass my, embarrassing myself on TV, I feel like I could do that and really just really just embarrass yeah. myself where I'm just stuttering and shit. Everyone's just like, Whoa. is this guy all right? Yeah. No. Have you ever seen someone wearing a colorful pair of flats and thought, dang, those are cute? Well, they may have been Rothy's. And that's because they're known for their chic pointed toe flats, but that's just the beginning. They got a ton of iconic head turning designs in bright, sophisticated colors. And plus, Rothy's work great with every outfit. Wear them with yoga pants or dress them up for the night out. And the best part of all is that Rothy's takes sustainability to the next level. Exactly. All their products are knit with thread made from plastic water bottles. They've repurposed around 125 million water bottles so far, which is insane. And they're honestly so comfortable when you slip them on, you feel good, and you know you're doing good for the environment. I'm mostly excited because we get to bring these shoes to our your vacation, baby. We get to show the whole world these shoes. So if you want to discover the versatile styles you can wear absolutely anywhere and get $20 off your first purchase, all you got to do is go to rothys.com slash unfiltered. Again, that's R-O-T-H-Y-S dot com slash unfiltered for $20 off your first order. Thank you so much, Rothys. We love you and everything you're doing for our foot comfort. Mm-hmm. And for the environment. Thank you, baby. You know what was kind of trippy, though? Like, so I'm, like, a huge fan of the show. I've watched it, like, religiously growing up. Unfiltered? Yeah. Uh, Thank you. No, no. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but I do watch your guys' show. Um, but, yeah, I was, like, I was watching it, whatever. And you would think the day of I'd be, like, nervous, you know? Yeah. And I just didn't even care at all when I went out there. It was it, it was, it was great that I wasn't nervous. Yeah. I was, I was amazing. But... It kind of sucked not like feeling something, you know. Like I didn't have butterflies. That's why you didn't like Egypt. You just it was the same just, experience as the pyramid. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's good it's good to be like that because so you so you're not nervous. No, so you it, like it's perform. It's good. It's good. But, but yeah. the downside to it is that it was like okay, so I it showed didn't up. feel rewarding. Yeah, I mean, I showed up. It went amazing. It couldn't have went better. The episode was great. You know. I, Whatever went back, and then I was just eating like Lay's <laughs> chips. It's <laughs> kind of like think of it like it just it's like the Wizard good. of Oz though. Like once you go and see what the wizard is behind the curtain, you're like, oh okay, this is just okay. I don't know. Like the yeah. it's like you, there's so much anticipation. Then once you're actually there, you're yeah. like, oh, this isn't like I don't know as hyped up as you yeah, have in which, your which mind. Is, I mean, not that it wasn't an amazing experience. It was dope. Like <laughs> in front of a live yeah. audience. Yeah. It's exactly how it looks like on TV. Like maybe oh, even good. better. It's like everyone's like, wallet, wallet, and not, like it's crazy. I used to be at home, like, wallet, yeah. you know? Wow. And the That's crowd's sick. so into it, everyone's like freaking, it's like almost like everyone's a paid actor. Everyone's like, yeah! Yeah, yeah. Okay, no. yeah. and uh, it, was, it was dope, but yeah, I just, I just went back to my hotel and I was like, cool. <laughs> 
Nice. Eat a chips. Where do they film it? Uh, in Atlanta. Oh. They switch it up. I they filmed it like all over. I think it was like in New York at one point, and then L.A. But yeah, this very cool. Last season was in Atlanta. It's the same set though. It's not like every season's like it looks different because they're in a new. It city, actually right? uh, well, oh. it's like pretty much the same set, but they like tweak certain things. They change like the team color name. Right. Like, like Got colors. it. Why, I wonder why they move. I feel like L.A. is the best because you that's that's where you can get everybody. Like where they don't have to like fly anywhere. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess Atlanta just in general cheaper to shoot right got it yeah makes yeah, sense and they, I, they're, they're so big that they would get people to fly out you know what i mean i don't think having people on is a yeah 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 for sure i mean i i literally went for the day oh wow I got, like, so I sick or did the episode and then left Ooh. are you more passionate about skit writing though is that what like a like a key and peel type thing is that the end goal or <laughs> do you like more uh stand up and kind like, of doing like I improv like work both. uh i mean for skit writing like i love skits i'm always gonna keep shooting skits um stand up is just like its own thing i love that as well but i think now at the point i mean i've been doing sketches for so long and i mean it's great like have an audience and a community and you know do, getting tons of views but i think like my end goal um is starting my own network Okay. Oh yeah. Comedy network God. that that hosts a bunch of different content from other yeah. people. Well, I actually, I well, I actually did start one. It's I that's started uh, one. It's, it's um, happen. that's the fire fireside. Yeah, fireside. Mark, right. Mark Cuban's company. Very cool. And yeah. then oh. people can access it and like help write scripts and how yeah, how exactly does be it like work? A writers room. So like okay. you can you know input like. I, to be honest, I get a lot of ideas from people DMing me. Not, they don't like send me the full sketch idea, but they're like, "Oh, you should do something about like when you get caught holding the door open." Uh huh. Yeah. And then I'll like riff off that. Right. So, letting my audience come in and like pitch premises. I mean, shit. Maybe if someone pitches a whole script, I'll read it. Why not? Yeah, right. Um, but it really cuts my work in half. Absolutely. You know. Mm -hmm. Um. So it'll kind of be like it's first of its kind, where my audience can almost be a part of it. Right. You because know? I mean, as like <clears throat> as an influencer, you can you post something. And then your fan base comments. There's not like really a deeper connection than that. Yeah. Whereas this, you know, I'm bringing my audience in and they're like almost able to be. Yeah, part it's very of inclusive them. and yeah. interactive. And, and not everybody wants to be part of it, but people who do have an opportunity. Yeah. 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 Cool. Badass. Who do you look up to? Like, is there anyone out there who's like kind of living your dream that one day you want to be at that level? I grew up idolizing Adam Sandler. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, he's like, in my opinion, the greatest. Yeah, yeah he's I awesome. Agree. Everything he makes is hilarious <clears throat> to me. I and he balls. Yeah, and, he, and he's a hooper. Yeah. And he's humble. Very and he's humble. humble. Yeah. You seen how he dresses? Man. Uh, I think he just Love personally it. likes dressing like that. <laughs> yeah, he's like comfortable. Good for him. He's yeah. like, he just literally doesn't, just give, doesn't a give a fuck. <laughs> His phone wallet keys ready yeah. to roll. That's, That's when you know I you made it. You know? He's made it. Like, yeah. yeah. And he'll just show up like in a Hawaiian shirt with like spaghetti Basketball sauce. Basketball store. Exactly. <laughs> he just doesn't care. And he's Adam Sandler. <laughs> is Cat Williams still on Wild and Out? Was no, he there? He's so hilarious. I know. He is one of my favorite comedians. So fucking funny. His stand up is like, oh my God. The Pimp Chronicles? Yeah. Oh my god! I would say the, the definitely top three best. This like, shit right here. Stand up. This yeah. shit right here. Yeah. He's Unbelievable. The green so the green good. Yes. Yeah. The green and the purple. All uh -huh. so, oh, so good. Oh, best. <laughs> yeah. He, he's a legend. Um. But yeah, I mean, I, I think <clears throat> Adam Sandler for what I want. Also, Judd Apatow. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, yeah. I feel like honestly, in the last like five years, it hasn't been a great comedy film. You know? I, yeah, I mean, like, so. yeah. Since like the forty year old version hangover era, like I feel like, then, like I this, agree. Hasn't been like a quotable movie. Yeah, this is the I end. So. I feel like was the last good one that, that came yeah, out. And around oh, that yeah, time, and Office Christmas Party. I think that like I that was that one of the one. last oh, ones too. So good. Yeah, so good. I feel like just now, like uh, post COVID and everything. People are making movies like too fast now. It's where so they're, they're not like really working on the craft of building it. Quantity over quality right now. Nobody's trying new shit. It's right. all like it's, remakes. There's, I feel like there's a lot yeah. of room for really talented people to come in because yeah. there's just not it's much out there. It's too many like there. sequels, prequels. Like yeah. just come up with they something They always gotta new. go back. Oh, this is before yeah. this Yeah, this happened. worked. This Nobody did good. A fuck. Uh, everyone's talking about Mean Girls again on TikTok. Let's do another one. Yeah, let's go. How can we make more money off of that original oh, How many idea? times have they made Batman? It's gotta be like in the 50s. <laughs> I'm fucking done with that shit. That, 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 that last one, the latest I, one. Every I don't movie get how should people be get... one, two, and three, and that's it. I don't get how people are so excited every time. <laughs> they announce it, and people are like, oh, shut up. It's Batman. It's the same story line. It's not even like a crazy, it's not even, it's not even a crazy super. It's Batman. No. It's like it's, a Batman. And now, now they're digging up it. superheroes nobody's even heard about. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're yeah. at the back of that comic book, at the comic book shop going, come on, Stanley, what we else do we got? one. <laughs> Y'all remember this? Yeah. Yeah. There's no way, there's no way, like some of these 
Some of these new superheroes, like no, they're made up on the spot. There's yeah. no way that was in the uh, book. <laughs> and then no they way. tie it all into the it. universe, like yeah, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah, now they're it's mixing it all much. together. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> they got to keep it going, man. It's a trillion dollar industry. Avengers, Avengers Endgame was like one of the best. Oh, that was right. yeah. great. Do you think like the Avengers though, like they're adding all these like <laughs> new people to the universe, like? Imagine you get the role and then you finally walk in the room with like Chris Evans and everybody like, hey, hey. And they're like, nice to meet you. Glad you know, to you have know you on. Ha- you know like, they're having conversations like, this is oversaturated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, is not, this is not even cool anymore. You're yeah. getting another 50 million for this movie, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, fuck it. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, where were these guys when the world was ending during Endgame? Uh-huh. Exactly. Good point. You know, where just, were they? How are you going to justify that? Mm. Were they not born yet? David, the new ones? Yeah. David's like a Marvel super fan. And I ask him all the time, there'll be like holes in the storyline. And I'm like, I don't get how this makes sense. He's like, you can't really think about it too much. You just gotta, just gotta <laughs> believe it's it. Fiction. it it's, it's not real. It's like, well, there has Obviously. to be at least, it needs to make sense. But then he'll also fight and make you think it's real. And be like, no, this is, and get like super into it. Like, like, right. I think he actually believes that like it's real. Like the Marvel <laughs> universe. Like, I, I think he truly it. believes that. What do you geek out about? Is there like, um, are you a Harry Potter type of person? Lord of the Rings, I, I Game of Thrones? I do Harry Potter, but I, I'm not really like a big fan of anything. Okay. I mean, not Egypt and not Harry Potter. I just didn't feel anything when I watched the movie. No, I'm playing. Um, <laughs> uh, Harry Potter's dope. I never read the books. I watched all the movies though. Oh, psh. Did you I, never, I never yeah, did either. Man. I tried. It's like so frowned upon. Like, the guys that like, you can't be a Harry Potter guy if you never read the books, right? On a scale of one to ten, how much of a Harry Potter fan do you think I am? Uh, I mean, like, just because you're asking, I'm gonna. I'm say good, yeah. <laughs> no, I would say I'm about nine and three quarters. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Did you just make that up? No, they did that on like a Harry Potter tour. I went on. They're like, funny. "Who's a big Harry Potter fan?" Scale of one to ten, and someone's like, "I'm an eight. He's like, "All right, well, I'm nine and three quarters." And I just was like, <laughs> "I'm remembering." This. That would have made me cackle just a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. What are Pretty your vices? Good. What do you? Uh, do you like to spend money on something? Yeah. Um, you guys, you keep you keep. Everything me. online really private, so everything is just like yeah, it's straight really hard to look you sketches. Up. So you let's uh, let's dig into I don't, it. Um, I don't really do. I'm pretty boring. All I do is like come up with ideas, and sh- ideas and shoot. Like I don't really go out much. You got uh, you do great cars. Not a, I don't really feel anything inside cars. All right. Uh, no, I do like cars. I like cars. Um, yeah, yeah, not, you like, look like someone that likes cars. What does that mean? Easy. I don't say. Know. <laughs> Easy. I can say it. I'm allowed to say it. You can't say it. Why? Because I have a beard. No, um, is that a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. He just looks like he likes golf. I like, That's it. I like golf. Yo, no. Okay, no. Uh, I don't see go. that at all. Let's I'm go. All right, guys. I'm going to need a moment here if you guys could. Uh... I love golf. Uh, I guess that's my vice. I mean, wow. that and coffee. I'm trying to quit coffee. Though. Yeah? Did Zane, we just become yeah. best friends? Well, don't quit Zane, yet. You're about to lose your best friend. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I caught that like for the perfect like yeah, that was great. Yeah. commercial. There Is you it, go. He's like, no. <laughs> I actually have to try this. I'm, yeah, I drink coffee every day. We have a box for you once you leave, so. Is this the box? Not that no, one. No, no, it's a, That one's pretty beat up and gross. We'll get you a new one. Yeah, you can throw that back, you can throw you know, that back to me. That's I, I, a display. I don't, I don't make coffee, though. How am I gonna make it? You Do you have a Keurig? Coffee? Yeah, I buy it, like, made already. Oh, he got money, money. Oh, yeah. oh you don't have a coffee machine where you make coffee in the I mean, morning? I'm not trying to with flex your... on you guys, but I buy it made. Uh, <laughs> no, I no, spend no. six <laughs> bucks a day on coffee. I'll spend that extra 49 cents. No, it's not even that. I'm just, like, you don't like a hot cup of coffee? Oh, like, I don't drink right hot when coffee. You get... Hot? No, oh, I you don't drink hot coffee. I, I like hot, hot coffee better than iced coffee. Oh, no way. You're yeah. crazy. Yeah. I'm a what? You're crazy. What do you really? do during the summer? Hot well, during the summer, I I mean, I'll drink hot coffee, but like not outside. <laughs> I got AC in the house. Valid. You know, I don't know, man. That's I'm an iced coffee. I guy. get it from my mom. My mom would make it every morning. My grandma would make it. Go. It was it's like a family thing. Mm. Have you almost died? Any hold on, year? hold on. Oh, what? <laughs> I got I got to talk Wait, about what is I got to talk problem? about golf here for a second. Wait, we're, we're just going to bring it to golf. What a, what a Actually, transition. You talk about golf. Yeah, yeah, go I don't give a shit. My boy has one of those golf simulators. It's oh. insane. Like, first of all, it's like $20,000. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And second off, it's like I played on it. It's like it's almost as good as playing on a real course. They're, and they're sick too because you can choose whatever course you want to play. Yeah. You don't got to walk to the ball. He has the side pieces too. Mm. So it's like you're like literally in the course. The only thing that's not the course is behind you. So dope. It's One day. You know how much it is to be a member at the Bel Air course? It's gotta be like 300K a year, right? What, six? I think it's like five, 600. Sheesh. So stupid. That's just crazy. To, just to like That's get crazy. in and then you have to pay monthly dues. And, and, and then and, and, and then you gotta- Play whenever you want. You have to have no. some tea time. And then you have to have a caddy and you gotta tip the caddy. It's a lot of money. And the, what's- What's crazy is that this Christmas Eve. there's a wait list. People that are people are down to pay it. They don't mind spending that. It's just so exclusive. And they're like eager to pay it. 
to get accepted. Yeah, I guess it's like the, a lot of people do it for the connections. Yeah. I, that, that's still, I don't care how much money I'm making. 500? That's crazy. <coughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Here, sorry, let me let me run to the bathroom before we start the game. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, ZocDoc. Finding and booking a doctor who's right for you doesn't need to be a terrible experience. Will they take your insurance, understand your needs, or be available when you can see them? With ZocDoc, the answer can be refreshingly pain-free, yes. ZocDoc is a free app that show you patient-reviewed doctors that take your insurance and are available whenever you need them. Exactly, you guys can read up on local doctors, get verified patient reviews, and see what other humans have to say about their visit. So when you walk into that doctor's office, you're set up to see someone in your network who gets you. And it's so simple. All you gotta do is go to ZocDoc.com. It's easier to go to the website than it is to say it. And all you gotta do is just choose a time slot and whether you wanna see the doctor in person or do a video visit. Every month, millions of people use ZocDoc and you know what? I'm one of them. It's my go-to whenever I need. And in this chaotic world of healthcare, let ZocDoc be your trusted guide to find a quality doctor in a way that's surprisingly pain-free. So make sure to go to ZocDoc.com slash Zane and Heath and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then start your search for a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C.com slash Zane and Heath. Again, that's ZocDoc.com slash Zane and Heath. We love you, ZocDoc. Thank you so much for making it simple and easy to get trusted doctors that we could find in a GIF. Exactly. And for sponsoring this episode. Thank you. Wait, I re before we do the game, we can have. we do oh. can we do a quick little like improv segment? Cause I think I just want you guys to hear his Gary V impression. If we give him a scenario and you respond like you Gary V. You have a good v Gary V? It is, cause it's, I- uh, It's all right. You sound like him already. <laughs> you already that, sound that was like already him. Good, yeah. He was okay. doing it the other night okay. at Dave's. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Wait, oh, I gosh, like, like, so do, do a little a deeper, do a little deeper because you're there. Hey, 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 tell tell like, them about your life. Say hey, hey, Gary. Hey, can you give me some, can you give me some internet advice? I'm starting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really want to be okay. a YouTuber. You know, I see all okay. these YouTubers and, you know, they have these big houses okay. and big car, okay. expensive cars. And I just, want, I just want some advice. I'm about to start a YouTube channel. What should I do? Like, okay. what should be, like, my first YouTube video, what should it be? How old are you? I'm 29. Okay, you have so much time. <laughs> oh my God. You have so much value. Okay, uh, uh, fuck your parents. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's yeah. so funny. Wow. Very it, good. It, instead of making excuses, <laughs> you should be making content. Now, I like how you start off with <laughs> a normal voice it's and then it goes best. into the... That's so good. Everything he does is this. <laughs> okay, okay. okay the, you know what scares the shit out of me right now? <laughs> NFTs are so <laughs> underrated. <laughs> I feel like my Gary V sounds Dude. like Mickey Mouse. It's like a little too yeah, high pitched. It, it, you, but the thing is that that first, when Mariah was talking and you impersonated him, that was perfect. I don't know what you did. It goes in and out. Yeah. Sometimes it's too much like, hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, oh yeah. Boy. That was good. Well, Gary V everybody. I'm definitely too high pitched. I'm definitely too yeah. high pitched. Gary There's, V everybody. Do you like his advice that he gives? I, I think he's great. Some, I don't yeah. know. There's, There's sometimes he's good. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh my God. He's yeah. a lot. He's a lot. It's, it's definitely 50, 50. I, he's I, always I, going against the grain. Like yeah. whatever you think he's gonna say, he says the opposite. Yeah, yeah. Like, shocking the parents. system. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah. I think he's good for the industry or for people who like are skeptical about social media, like brands, like older people. Like yeah. he's good. <laughs> he's good for them to listen to because Gary. they start saying things differently. I think we only have like a little. Yeah, bit go ahead, go ahead. Later. We're about to play a game, everybody. Matt's gonna discuss what the game is. We are going to be playing a game called Green or Red Flag. As you see, we have some flags here before us. We have a red flag, a yellow flag, and a green flag. And I have a bunch of cards in front of me, and on these cards are certain things that uh, your significant other would do. And you have to determine in your book, is it a red flag or a green flag? I see everything. And if you're this, in Mariah, the middle, the yellow for? If you're just undecided, if you're in the middle and you have like a Mariah, thought about it. I see everything it. like if, this. If, if you kind of are Love going it. both ways with it. Okay, okay. Uh, well, and keep in get, mind. Uh, rid of the yellow flag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's gonna be yes or no. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I like that. I like yeah. that. So he, Adam got rid of his yellow flag, which is very Don't important. He's gonna realize how important I'm gonna it is. Only, I'm gonna only keep the yellow because I care about people's feelings. All right, all right. I like to be in the middle. I like to be in the middle. Okay, so green or red flag. And we have a lot here, so we may do this at the kind of a rapid pace that's if yeah, we want. That's fine. Okay. So if your date texts you immediately after the date. I'm gonna go yellow. Yellow flag. Red. Oh, <laughs> red okay. Flag. Why why do why do you say red? It's like a little too forward, you know? It's, it's almost like you can smell the desperation. It's almost like what do you mean text you right after? Like, what did if you they get say? Did you get home safe? I, I yeah. can see it as like a really sweet thing I mean. because maybe she's thinking like 
you know, I'm going to text him just so he doesn't feel like this date was like, okay, I'm either. thinking more so like them just trying to start conversation. Yeah. That's how I would take it. Okay. And oh, it's you a see, red I don't think if it's a get home safe, it's a green flag. Got it. You, you see, know? that's why, that's why I held the yellow flag. That's why you should have a see, yellow flag. That's why you can't be too quick to, <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're, let me get the yellow flag. It's, it's not, it's not always black and white. It's situational. Sorry guys. It's situational. Okay. Next one has owned a horse their whole life. <laughs> That's a funny one. Um, I think it's. I think it's cool. No, I it think shows it's cool. They can take care of an animal that's yeah. bigger than a dog. It's a lot of responsibility. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta brush it. <laughs> you gotta. Know. There's a lot that goes into it. A mm -hmm. lot in horse care. It is. But if they if they constantly talk about the their horses, horses. That's, I mean, people that's talk that's about a, their dogs all the time. I mean, it's, that's true. You know? But I don't. I don't really like that either. Some people like take their dogs too seriously. Like the people who put like shoes on their dog. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I used to. I know this girl that puts shoes on her dog. Like it's, you gotta you gotta let them walk and file their nails down. And when you like yeah. when you feed your dog, come on. And the sh and the dog's <laughs> feet are like giving it water. In these tiny shoes, like the dog looks uncomfortable. And they yeah. walk like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, dog, that dog doesn't want fucking shoes on its yeah, feet. Yeah, and don't don't dye on. the dog's hair, oh, please. please. Oh yeah. yeah, that's rough for your own. No pleasure. pun intended. Okay, next one has <laughs> <laughs> green flag. Green, green. <laughs> green flag on that one. That's rough. Uh, next one has no social media. No social media. Oh, I oh. kind of like you go that. red. Red flag. What are you hiding? I'll do yellow. Yeah, I do feel like you're hiding something if you're not on social media, but um, you may have a good reason why. But that's like the new hot thing now, right? It Everybody is. wants somebody I, I that's not hot. on social media. No, you don't want someone who's like crazy active on social media. But have but have an account media. like like three hundred yeah. followers. It's weird. If you, it's pretty weird if you don't have an account. But there's a lot of people that just don't like social media. Think yeah, about it. And they, they might be a little people. bit kooky. I feel like social media is your resume. Yeah, I guess like, these you know? days, sure. Fuck you. Okay, I guess <laughs> these days, these days. But if I if I really liked a girl and like we had a good time and I met her, you know, I met her at a bar or whatever, and then I found out she didn't have an Instagram, I'd be like, oh. Okay. And okay. Now, like, the more I think about it, it's definitely weird. Yeah. <laughs> because it, like, I just scared. <laughs> I just if, gave you like a like a just a, a nice if, yeah. moment. If I can't even Google them, like they don't exist at all online, I think it's really freaky. Like they yeah. don't even have a LinkedIn. Like they're hiding Some, from yeah. something. Oh, like I, like I, you were I'm saying, like, oh. like a picture perfect moment. Like it, it, maybe in a movie, but it's, what if they just have a life? <laughs> Why are we not seeing it? <laughs> that's true. You're right. You're right. Actually, you know, I'm, I'm more on your guys' side. They don't than my care own. what people think. Have a fucking backbone, Zane. A uh, 15 year age gap. <laughs> oh, that's my parents. Red flags. They're 15. My parents are 13 years apart. Green Whoa, flag. Okay. I, I think now. When did they meet? Um, like 60 and 75. My, I think my mom was 21 or 22. Uh, she was 22. I'm just thinking about I being, just don't get being 30 years old. <laughs> your person yeah, is keep this 15. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Yeah, that it's weird when you yeah. go back in time. And exactly. Do the math. Right. Right. Could, like, like my dad was thirteen. My mom wasn't born. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ooh, like you're you're in high rough. school and they're not even born yet. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. Pretty wild. It was, just, it was a different time. Oh my god! I just looked back at our uh, my high school yearbook. In the high school yearbook, oh, uh, yeah. we were just flipping through, and there was a whole article, and it was like, "Does age uh, matter? Age doesn't matter." Um, they're like, it, "It said age doesn't matter," and it was talking about like different grades could date different grades, and then it was showing like showing seniors, couples from like senior seniors to with freshmen. It was like grade doesn't matter, oh, yeah, like love is love. Yeah. What's the name of the school? <laughs> South Plantation. No, that was all. That was, was a like, different time. <laughs> Could it you imagine seeing that in like one today? People would be like, oh my. It doesn't matter. It was pretty wild seeing the couple pictures under yeah. that category. It was nuts. They get canceled. It's like they look up old tweets. They look up old <laughs> oh, <your> <laughs> um, All these high schools are going back. <laughs> 1994 yearbook. Okay, next one. They have a pet snake. Red all fucking day. I think yeah. that's rare. That's scary. Uh, yeah, that's I, th scary. I think that's that just, I mean. bizarre. If you have a pet you snake, that's no. fine. But I, I think that's we'll weird. Out. I think that's huge weird. red flag. Oh my god! Huge red flags. If you own a snake, something is something. No, weird. I don't think it's that bad to own a snake. There's people like that like snakes. My little sister likes snakes. Does she own one? No, but I'm sure exactly. she would love to own one. And they like shed like a full. Yeah, like, I just don't like how they how they eat like cute mice. Yeah, you I don't feed like them live animals. I don't like that. Like, and nobody. We were talking about this the other episode. Like nobody's feeding it and then looking away. They're watching the animal die. Yeah, you're watching. You're I watching watch the, the mouse watch squeal. We had to do that in science class for extra credit. <laughs> you had to watch the, mi the the snake eat the mouse. Yeah, we had a, a snake in the classroom and he was like, "If you if you watch it eat, you'll get extra points." Oh, oh he's a it. he's a. <laughs> Oh, That's he's also this. I, I brought this up maybe like last year, but he was the same teacher that he came into the classroom and he was like, 
I had a whole game plan for today, but there was a dead deer on the side of the road and it's pregnant. So I put it in my truck. <laughs> we're going to go out and take the babies out. That is unsanitary. Have Anywho. you seen, did you guys, when you guys were in science class, like in high school, did they make you watch that lady give birth? Like the, yeah, I've guys? heard about this, but not. Yes. I know. But it's literally like yes. insert shot. Yeah. <laughs> and you oh. see the vagina. And like it the was baby's like the like, craziest magic like, school bus episode And there's ever. no, like, you, it's so close. You don't even see her leg. What grade were they showing bag. this in? Uh, I was like a seventh. Seventh grade, it was middle school. school. That's aggressive. And I literally saw like the vag closed oh. open and like <laughs> the whole thing. Why do they teach like seventh graders that? Is that because you're almost able to have that? Like, what's the? I don't know. It's because I, that's I, puberty. I think it, it, it scares it, them too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was scared of vaginas. Like all that. Tenth <laughs> grade. I was so, like, that's so it what worked it then. Like. Yeah, it worked. All right. Next card: giving small gifts early on in the dating stages. It it depends. It depends on what the gift is. I love a thoughtful person. If it's yellow. like candy, yellow. Yeah, yeah. If it's like something from cute ah, little things, it's kind, you of, go, it's kind of weird. It's like, well, at what point do you really start giving gifts to some? Okay, like, Adam, think about it. How early on? Okay, think about it. You, um, you're on your fourth date, and she stops at a gas station. She goes to your house, and she gets you candy, like your favorite candy. Your favorite oh, candy so that creepy. you mentioned. Who's getting candy? <laughs> that's but creepy. Like, that's not but creepy. But what if you mentioned it? What if you were like, oh, I love. Well, that's Skittles. not really a gift. Is that a gift? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a candy. Gift. I'm talking about like a little ornament or like a. Oh yeah. no, that's that's <laughs> red. It's oh, you yeah. two together, like <laughs> to hang on a Christmas tree. I made you. I made you a blanket. That's weird. That's, that's weird. weird. That's it's, red. You know okay. It is, it's, it's a red flag if it's a custom gift. Yes. <laughs> yes. If you yeah. customize yeah. something for okay, you. Yeah. Like, I, I, went to, I, I went to Things Remembered and I got you this <laughs> snow globe made yeah. that has us. It was a TikTok ad. Ooh, it's <laughs> it's kind of like that uh, uh, Polly D in the Jersey Shore, that girl, that lady that got on that shirt. Oh, the, the stalker Danielle. Yeah, the stalker one. It's yeah. stalkery for sure. So yeah, yeah a little that's, bit, a little it's bit. A, it depends. depends but. So guys, no ornaments on the fir first Eight dates. That custom gifts is like, I think that's two years in. Yeah. Maybe that's a fair. year in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anniversary. Gifts? For one year anniversary, you can do a custom When you're saying custom, gift. is this like you're going to like a kiosk and getting <laughs> yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like all kiosk gifts. Thing, yeah. Things I'll, I'll always remember. It's, that's like, a glass, yeah. it's like a glass like a globe with like you guys yeah. inside it. Like a picture. Like, it's oh. weird. Noted. It's weird. No, no, that, yeah. that's good. That's good. You made a really good point. Okay. Next card has only friends of the opposite gender. Ooh. I think that shit's. Red is fire. Red, That's red, red, yeah. red, red. Though yeah. gender is a concept, um, uh, <laughs> but I want to say that true. But also, but I feel like if they don't have like friends that are like like them, it's a little sus, right? I'm just um, one of the boys. Yeah. One of yeah. The boys. yeah it's, nope. It's, it's, no, you, you ran have that through the boys. Vision in the back of your mind, like, is she friends with them or is it like some big gang bang going on? Yeah. You know? I, I don't <laughs> right? Am I right? Uh, Anyone else? Really? We all think it. Yeah. <laughs> we get to question. We're a lot of question it. That, that's all. So that is a. It's it's. It, I, it's possible for sure. Yeah. It is a red flag. It's definitely something to consider. Yeah. And then maybe if you dig into it, uh, maybe I think it can... depends on like her personality, who she is too. I think yeah. that that's huge because if she is literally one of the, you could tell, yeah, one of the then you, 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 know? you wouldn't even question it. Yeah. I guess yeah. it depends on how long they've been friends before you entered the relationship too. True. <sighs> We're just all, we should just have the yellow flag. Okay, I'll go to yellow. Because <laughs> it's fucking. You're using it a lot more than you, you thought you my would. First time using it, guys. Yellow flag. The yeah. These are all very situational. You know? Yes, yeah, they it, are. It's cheap. Yeah, it's it's, it's they're, lazy. They're, what, they're we shouldn't even have the yellow flag. They're conversation points, you know. Uh, okay, next. Uh, speaking positively about their ex or talks about their ex frequently. Mm. You want to do the big one, Fred? Yeah. Hit it, Zane. No. Obviously. Woo. Obviously. I think the front half of that is is not bad. You positively? Know? Talking positively yeah, about like, their ex? Like, like my ex was a great person. She's dope and like- Yeah, only you can, if you can say you know? that, but you're not gonna be like, yo, I wish you would have met my ex, babe. No, no, she was the amazing. second half for sure, red flag. But the first half, like, you know, you could, you could speak positive. The only time the ex should be brought up is if you guys are talking about exes and that's usually in the beginning of your relationship. But that ex should not be brought up again. Down the road, yeah. unless yeah. it's absolutely necessary. That is very. I mean, important. it happens in conversation. It happens in conversation. Mm -hmm. I okay, get. I'm going yellow. I <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, this is hard. Okay. Um, I guess somebody likes bringing up their ex all the time. Asking. Well, she's dope. <laughs> she's awesome. Like, she's she's awesome. beautiful. Asking to have it. your phone passcode. Oh, what the hell? Red flag. It depends. It's it like depends, if I'm yeah. on Ox and if it's early in a relationship and they're like, hey, what's I'm not, your no, passcode? No, that is bullshit situation. No, but that doesn't even count asking, as situational. But if you're asking like, give me your password, I'm looking through your phone, obviously red flag. Yeah. But oh. if it's like, 
I gotta set. I gotta send myself something. You know what I mean? No, I don't think that counted in that scenario. Yeah, the ox one is a, it's a great. The ox area, one man. is like that's anybody. <laughs> yeah, anybody yeah, will give you a passcode yeah. too. But like, I think Straight just like, hey asking. baby, like, do you trust me? Can I like have your passcode? Just I that. Feel like that's that's weird. That's weird. And doing yeah. deep dives just to find something. Oh, is yeah. Like, yeah, that's weird. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're searching for something. I had to search for something one yeah. time. Did you? Yeah. Did you find it? Oh, found more than I thought I would. <laughs> oh, we, <gasps> we we brought up the ex. <laughs> she was a really sweet woman. <laughs> she throws the red flag. I have no green. Give me your green. <laughs> Take it. I haven't used this yet. <laughs> uh, next, if they don't post you on their social media. After how oh, long? That, no, that's, wait, it all depends. It's I think if you're dating someone for over six months and they haven't like at least yeah. soft launched you, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think you're in some yeah. Soft, yeah. soft launch? Like stories, like stories. Soft yeah, launch? we're talking in feed here? Yeah, that's that's or a lot. Story. Sto at least stories. Story, story, yeah. you have to story. Cause I barely oh, yeah. post myself, story. you know what I mean? But right. story and now you, you expect story me to post somebody else. In feed is like, that's another layer to the relationship. Right, that's like you you want people to see it whenever they go on your page. And yeah, that's a- You don't just in feed someone off rip. Wait, what yeah. is this a campaign? Yeah. That's a red flag. It's a red Come flag on. if you in feed someone right away. Yeah, oh, that's just started talking. Boom, oh god, and I've seen I've seen it before. <laughs> I've seen yeah. it. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's you crazy. You can't in feed because then because like if you're in a relationship for like two three weeks, you in feed them and it doesn't work out, which it very easily cannot. Yeah, you know? yeah. like it's how embarrassing. Then you got to delete, archive yeah. that shit. Oh, it's just. Uh, next one, rich but frugal. Whoa, what? Rich but frugal. I love that shit. That's yeah. green as fuck. Oh yeah, rich. Yeah, yeah that means yeah. Uh, that means what? Yeah, well, oh, you don't have a green. That means you're responsible yeah. with your money. I mean, it, there's a difference between like frugal or cheap. But like, dude, Arabs like, love spending uh, money though. Arabs love spending all the money they have. Frugal, frugal is responsible. Cheap yeah. is like your dirt bag. There's some people who like, for example, like, would you buy your significant other like a certain gift? And like, I won't spend that much money on. It's mm. a gray area. Yeah. I mean, some people's <laughs> love languages is, are, are gifts. Gift giving. That's your love. Yeah. So you can't. Yeah. What if you dated a frugal guy? This guy's not frugal. So you're. That's all right. So I like giving more so than receiving. So you're a gold digger. <laughs> are you digging my gold? Um. Yeah. I fucking knew. I told you this day one. I told, I told you this day, day one. Where I a fucking Fuck. gold digging. What? What? Fucking what? What? The okay, horror what? show. What a freaking horror show! They swear. Yeah, that's the New York accent. It's Madison. my favorite. It's, it's becoming. Like it's one becoming more. one of my favorite accents to listen to and watch. Like New I York? love seeing videos of people just really. Have hey yo, dead more? ass. Hey yo, fix. It's uh, dude. Yeah. It's, it, it they, just makes things funnier, it, and it, it makes them so does. like they seem so much more confident, mm. funnier, just everything. Everything it is really. I think that's package. why I like doing it because I everything rolls off the tongue easily. When I'm speaking normal, I stutter, but if I bring out you the accent, try an accent. I'm, you should. <laughs> New York accent. Is oh yeah, very, like, yeah. I should do one from every country right now. He just works. Where should I start? <laughs> <laughs> the way like New York guys like get at girls or like hit on girls way different than like L.A. Way yeah. so how how did you hit on girls when you were in New York? How did I? I mean, I was. Yes. I would DM them. Yes. <laughs> um, you just go I up would to them. DM them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I would DM them. Dead ass? Question dead mark. Ass? <laughs> yeah. Yo, you know how creepy that yo, is going up to a girl. And what? Me? Dead ass. I love to hang out with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know how creepy that is going up to a girl and yes. going yes. Oh yeah, no, it doesn't work. It's, it's not, it's in person. Not, it's not a real life tactic. No way. I'm gonna try. All right, let's hit one more. Room is always messy. Ugh. Always messy. I don't like Zane that. Is like, Have a Zane, Zane's messy. like, it's totally fine. <laughs> my, room, my room gets messy. Actually, your room doesn't get messy. I can't be a hypocrite. I know really good people that have messy rooms. Thank you. you know? I, the most creative <laughs> They're really close have to the me. messiest room. Thank you, Mariah. <laughs> I I, that's what I've been trying to say. Sure. That's what, I think that studies show that the more creative the person, the messier their I room I fucking is. knew it. It's a lot, you spend a lot of time cleaning up. Kind of a Dude, it's a waste of time. <laughs> exactly. I'll do yellow. I think if yeah. the if the rest of the house is like tidy and like looks good and oh, taken yeah. care of, that's good. That's how it is in my house. Everything's tidy except for my room. My room, the, the way I try on like clothes, I like put it on and then I take it off and I get lost. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna wear it. You don't oh, put yeah, it back up too. on a hanger. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why don't we do that? It's so easy. It's why so don't easy. we just do um, that? Um, no, but it, but the time it adds up. What is it? If you're trying on ten shirts, that's ten minutes. And I'm a last minute person. I love to just throw shit on and we're lazy. We're lazy. We wait till the last minute to put something on and you put it on. It doesn't look good. You're like fuck. I gotta try something else on because I gotta leave right now. And then you run through it real quick right. and you're like, I don't Launch have time. It. Shot put. I, I fucking cross the room. Looks like Ross. Did you ever have one <laughs> of those? It's just hangers and clothes. It's just, fucking, it's a mess. You gotta get one zoom. of those basketball hoops that land in the um, laundry, laundry basket. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, but, then, but that, I'm not even wearing the shirt. 
And so what is it? Just going to the dirty pile instantly? <laughs> yeah, it's that's so wasteful. because at some point you pick up those clean clothes that you left on the floor. Yo, I've at done that point. shit. I've put something on and it didn't look good, and I'm <laughs> not wanting to hang it back up, and I just oh, yeah. put it in the dirty yeah. bin. Yeah, me that's too. Bad. Just keep it clean. I've done that. That's, bad. No. that's pretty bad. You're like fuck it, I'll just wash it again. Yeah. And well, it's like, I do that you, a lot. you just keep going through this cycle where you're never going to fucking wear this shirt. Yeah. It's never going to be worn. And it's no. just it's not going to look back. good on you. It keeps getting washed and back on the hanger and this cycle. I just cleaned out. I just moved and I just got rid of so much clothes and I feel so relieved. And half the things you bought and never wore, right? There's like so many things where I'm like, oh, maybe I'll wear this. And Are I you and sentimental? Now I'm like, if I'm not wearing this this month, it's out. I know. Yeah. yeah. That's or you've worn it too much and you just feel like. Yeah. Yeah. And it sucks, especially when you spend so much money like on a designer shirt and it's like mm -hmm. a big orange bright Balenciaga shirt. Like how many times can you fucking wear I've this? stopped doing that because every time I buy one of the, one of that shit, I never wear it. I wear it once and I, I don't even. And I don't you don't want to be that guy who's like always wearing the orange <laughs> Balenciaga yeah. shirt. It's and, like, okay. And, and it was yeah. so much money and it's like, what are you going to do now? You know, it's exactly. a big orange yeah, shirt. Yeah, designer purchases should be basics. If I buy designer, Jeans. I'm making sure like it better fucking say it all over. I want it for Gucci, yeah. Gucci, <laughs> fucking all up and down. But people who wear the designer shirts they're like, oh, this is Dior. You have to like see the yeah, design. yeah. No, oh. What's the fuck? It's a, a, a normal button down. Yeah, it's like a, it has no logo on it. It's Why? Insane. I'm wearing it. It better be logo everywhere. Yeah, you want to you want to show people that you're yeah. That's a red flag. You're wearing, yeah. you're wearing a shirt with, with that doesn't designer doesn't have the logo yeah, on it. Yeah, right? that means you're. I feel like that means you really got it made though. That you could just drop like 800 bucks on a plain white t-shirt that nobody knows but you great band Please. shut up plain white tees. hey there delilah <laughs> one song well all right that all was right. red flag or green flag thank you so much for playing <laughs> and balls. maybe yellow and sometimes wise yeah. <laughs> sometimes thanks wise. matt adam you got anything you want to plug uh, my mom I guess my jesus network. is that a red flag yes wait no what i want to plug my comedy network. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plug your comedy network plug your your comedy Jesus. network all it's, of it will it's, link it below. it's gonna be called wahaha um and it's coming out soon i don't have an actual date for it yet and i also want to plug this episode wahaha oh there yeah, has anyone wahaha, ever plugged that's wahaha great. Wow. Yes. thank oh, you based off my last name dude we're gonna <laughs> double in views after that thank you yeah. holy shit i'm plugging tell, this tell episode to go on this it. episode <laughs> has anyone done that shit that, no you first no. yeah I'm plugging this episode, unfiltered Adam W episode. Make sure you guys watch it. And then you said you don't know when the app's coming out yet. Um, the app's out. The platform's out. Um, the actual network. Oh. I mean, uh, I mean I'm not gonna launch all like five, six shows at once. I mean, show by show. Okay. Um, hey, can you give us a little like a little look to see how it looks like before you launch it? You know, we want a little sneak peek. I can send you guys an email. Okay. Appreciate that. Can uh, you put us on the app? No. Can we be like one of the first verified He's, creators, you know, like no. be the, one of the first? Uh, uh, <laughs> slow down, Zane. Automatic yeah. follow list. Send yeah. me an email. Okay. Send me an email. We'll, we'll, we'll figure we'll it out. Do a little, we'll do a little plug. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah and we'll look talk. out for Wild and Out. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wild and Out. Wild and out. I don't that's know when that's sick. coming out either, but it's coming it's out. sometime this year. Yeah. It's they don't give you a date. So summer? Late summer? Yeah. They haven't told me yet. I, I think they told me like end of summer. Yeah. No, I'm really proud of you for doing that. That's fucking Thank sick. Thank you, man. It was definitely a, definitely a bucket lister. So was, this show was a bucket lister. Oh, yeah? Stop. Bullshit. Uh, yeah. I mean, a hush <laughs> I was down here. But Red it was flag. Unfiltered <laughs> being on your bucket list. Red flag. Come on. No, this is a bucket list podcast. This is like one of the best podcasts. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm not just saying that. It's a bucket list podcast. <laughs> Thanks, man. I mean, who's better than Thanks you guys? Thanks, our podcast is fun. Rogan, unfiltered. Who else? <laughs> We're right, that's I don't it. know who Rogan Joe is. Joe Rogan yeah. experience. Yeah. I don't even know. Joe, Joe. Train Joe. by day, Joe Rogan. Rogan by night. All day. Thanks Thank for you. coming Thank on, brother. Thank you. Thank you. The time. Enjoy Glendale. I will. Have a good shoot. Make sure will, to check yeah. him out on Instagram, too. Very important. He posts skits every fucking day. I see it all over my timeline. Every day. Every day. Take it away from it. Every day. I'm every actually day. going to film one right now so I can post tomorrow. You're on fire. Turn on his post notifications so you see when he's live tomorrow. Yep, 1230. Well, this oh, is that what you post every day, 1230? Yeah, every day, 1230. That's oh, insane. Yeah. Is it like scheduled or you just 1230 hits and you, you No, get a lot that of times up. I wake up like morning of and no idea, figure out the idea, go produce it, shoot it, edit it, post. Damn. Wow. We got to be more like him, huh? It's, it's yeah, we got to be about a lot, lot of people, Zane. <laughs> it's, it's, really, it's actually not efficient. It's like so, uh, it, the thing is I'm so good at procrastinating and doing stuff last minute that like now I like resort to it. Mm -hmm. so kind of becomes the new habit. Well, thank you, Adam, for coming in. <laughs> get we really out of here. Thank yeah, you, Get guys. the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, well guys, thank you again so much for tuning in to another Zane Heath Unfiltered episode. You can check out the audio form of this episode every Monday on uh, Spotify, uh, Google, and uh, Apple 
podcast and the video version of this podcast at youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. We post every Tuesday. That's right. You can also check out Cremota Coffee, Cremota.com. We got a bunch of different cake cup flavors, bag flavors, and a bunch of drink. Ooh, wow. I like that. that shit is I was trying to out. get it pop. I was trying to have it pop. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, we love you so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Toodles. Peace. Peace. Peace.